In this video, my goal is to show you how you need to create this amazing interactive radar chart in Microsoft Excel. For example, I have this variable and I have three KPI which I want to compare with respect to my target. And the best thing is if I simply check the box, you can see the series. If I uncheck any of the KPI, it will automatically hide. How we can create this chart, I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider we have this data set. The first thing we need to insert checkbox for each and every KPI. So I will select all of the KPI cell. Click on insert. We have a checkbox here and simply click this one. The next thing I will copy all of the header. Hit control C. Click on row 16. Hit control V. Now I will apply a very simple formula. Simply type equal. For the variable simply select all of the column. Hit enter. For the target. Simply type equal and select the entire target column. And for the KPI, we need to apply a very easy if condition. Simply type if, open parenthesis, if this value equal to true. So you can define condition like this or you can simply skip the true, hit comma. Then I want to return the result from this column, hit comma. Otherwise, I want to get a null result, close parenthesis, hit enter. And now if I simply check the box, you can see we get automatically all of the column value. Now I will simply drag this formula on right side. And now if I select the checkbox, you can see we get the same value. Now I will scroll a little bit more and we need to insert chart based on this table. To create a chart, first we need to select my entire table. Click on recommended chart, all chart, combo chart. For the target, I will click on this drop down. Scroll a little bit more and I will select radar chart with marker. For the other KPI, I will click on this drop down and I will simply select fill radar chart. Simply hit OK and now we need to do a little bit more formatting. For now, I will delete the chart title and now I will increase the size of my chart a little bit more. I will move this chart on a top area. Click on format. On the very left side, you can see a drop down. Click on this one. Simply select plot area and increase the plot area of this chart. Now click on your chart. Click on shape fill and I will simply select this gray blue color. Click on data label and I will assign white font color. Hit control B to make it bold. Now if I uncheck any of the check box, you can see it's automatically height. I will select the first series. Right click. Format data series, fill and line. I will click marker option and here you can see fill. Simply select solid fill. I will select orange fill color, but I will increase the transparency up to 85%. Now click on lines, solid line, select the same orange color, increase the width of line a little bit, let's say up to two point. Now I will check my second KPI. And uncheck my first KPI and simply click on this one. Right click format data series, fill in line. For the line, I will select solid line. I will choose the green color, increase the size up to two point. Markers, solid fill, select the same green color, increase the transparency up to 85%. And now I will uncheck my second KPI and simply select my third KPI. Right click format data series. Fill and lines. For the markers, I will select solid fill. In this case, I will select red fill color, but I will increase transparency again 85%. Lines, solid line, select the red color, increase the width of line up to two point. Now, if I scroll on the right side and simply check all of the checkbox, you can see everything is looking perfect. For now, I will uncheck all of my KPI. Now I will click on my chart, click on plus button. You can see X axis, expand this one, more options. On a very left side, you can see X axis option, expand the tick mark. For the major type, I will select outside. And how we need to change the color, I will click on format. On a very left side, you can see a drop down. And here you can see radar value X axis. Simply select this one. For the shape outline, I will select white color. The next thing, simply select the x-axis and make the font color white. 
Of course, if you want to show this in percentage, simply click on number. Here you can see a drop down and simply select percentage. Decrease the decimal point to zero. And this is how we update our X axis. The last thing we need to convert the target line into white. I will click on format again, select the drop down and here you can see target series. For the shape outline, I will select white font color. I think everything is looking perfect. If I select any of the checkbox, each and everything is looking perfect. You can do a little bit more modification, but this is how we can create this amazing chart in Microsoft Excel. I hope you liked the video and learned something useful. If you have any specific question, just write me comment. Thank you so much.